Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one two three, testing one two three, testing one two three, testing one two three. Testing one two three, testing one two three, test, 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 test. Hey, Vim boy. Good morning. How you doing? Why did I put my drink so far away? Damn. This was not smart. I did not think this through. When do I everything thinks through though? The do I chat? Thanks for the hydrate, Redeem. All these fucking wires, man. Getting in the way. <laughs> I need to deal with these, you know, somehow in the near future. Hey, everyone. Happy Fanboy Friday. We got another VTuber fighting game tournament this Friday. Street Fighter. We still have about an hour and a half before it actually starts, so we need to get some practice in, a little bit of labbing. Probably do some combo trials again. We'll see how far we can get there. So we can get better ideas for things that can float together. We'll see how far we get this time. There's around 27, 28 people participating in today's tournament. More or less. Use the volume a little bit. There we go. Much better. Also chilling in the voice chat of the uh, VTuber fighting game Discord. I'm glad my uh, fight stick modifications have been working out pretty well. All things considered.
Oh, I actually got it that time. What the hell? Cool. Mm-hmm. Dragon Lash. Dragon Lash. Danish, Danish, Danish. Pastry, 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 pastry. Danish, Danish, Danish. Danish pastry. Hey Kuma, how are you doing today? It kind of does sound like he sound sound like he's yelling Danish, doesn't it?
How you doing today? Tired, but things are okay. That's good. If you need food in me before games, we could players spend some time in the lab. That's up to you. I'm just trying to do some combo trials and uh, get my muscle memory activated, which is still garbage. Is it really? It's kind of sick, not gonna lie. You can use it as a pressure tool and extend block strings or mix up and go for a throw or whatever. We gotta jam with food first. Take your time. We still got half an hour before uh, clock before check-in anyway. I'm also in voice chats and the uh, VTuber Discord in the uh, VTuber Discord if you want to join me. Hmm, that works too. Oh, almost got it, shit.
Danish, Danish, Danish. Man, I'm hungry. I hope it doesn't affect my performance too much.
Really? Why am I getting so fucking hungry? Jesus Christ. It's like actually annoying now. <sighs> Nothing to do about that, I guess. Like, actually annoying, Christ. it's set to modern again. Fucking annoying. Red Sanwa? Mm-hmm. I switched to the uh, red actuators from the blue one. I originally put in the red ones in, but I removed it because I thought it was giving me uh, input issues, but whatever those issues were seem to have been solved. So it's not doing any weird uh, holding down the micro controller or anything. Yeah, it is. It is very touchy. So I have to pretty much relearn it's from the blue one again. I mean, I like it so far, so I could probably just stick with the red actuators now, but obviously this means I have to constantly relearn the muscle memory, which is causing me problems. You still like the red? Yeah. The throw does definitely feel shorter, as intended, but...
I like that they have all these options. The training mode's honestly fairly in depth. This is the sort of thing that people bitch about wanting in every fighting game, and very few actually have something this detailed. So good in Capcom, honestly. How are you doing, Venboy? Happy Friday. I go though, I guess it's Saturday over there now, right? My shoulder is really tense while playing Street Fighter. Uh, tense up while playing Street Fighter. I feel like my movements are getting sloppy a little bit. I didn't install the 2 pound spring in the stick yet, but I'm thinking about sticking with 1.5 because if my hands are getting tired already, right now, I'm kind of scared of what will happen if I try to play with a 2 pound spring again.
Oh shit. Damn it. Shit. Hey, Kuma. Well, I was doing some practice with combo trials, but now I'm just going through training mode and testing out the uh, different things they may have, or different uh, modes they have. Otherwise, I'm chilling in voice chats. If you want to talk games, we could play a few games, but we're gonna. We actually have check in in two minutes, so let's do that first. Otherwise, uh, do you want me to go make a room? Or... Meow. <sighs> Shit, one second.
Sorry about that chat, just had a quick phone call. How you doing today, Kuma? Yo, I'm... I'm doing okay. That's good to hear. I guess. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's mood. I forgot how to get out of here. Shit. I, I actually forgot how to get out of training mode. That's just beautiful. Take your, take your time. Oh, here it is. Fuck. <laughs> mode select. Alright, let me go make him a room for us. <laughs> I wonder if we're going to take over a battle hub area again like we did last time. That was fun. Mm, probably unlikely. Now that custom lobbies are a thing. Yeah, it's true. Sent you an invite. Word. I'm mm -hmm. coming. Cool. Man, there's a lot of experienced people in bracket and i'm not talking about like people who just kill it in fighting games we're talking about <laughs> people who people play street who fighter professionally big events and make like top 32. yeah 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 they are it's uh it's a little worrying <laughs> Sure makes trying to play some Guilty Gear seem like a joke by comparison, not gonna lie. Well, I I'm gonna say this. I like Street Fighter a lot more in comparison to Strive. I can at least... I can at least... understand what's happening on the screen and react to it. While in Strive, it's like, you get burst baited and blown up, and it's very... I don't know. I kind of like the uh, insanity of anime fighters, but Street Fighter and Tekken have, well, at least Street Fighter, I don't know, um, it feels more fair, I guess, in some ways. Well, I mean, Street Fighter never really had, um, sword I'm looking for. Like, they didn't really have burst mechanics in the, those kinds of games. Hey, Gunter, thanks for you for the raid. How are you guys doing tonight? Bloodlust raid, what were you guys playing? <laughs> Fuck, I should be playing Lily. <laughs> uh, just chatting? Very nice. Here comes a new challenger. Welcome to the stream. We got a uh, Street Fighter 6 tournament coming up in a little bit. So I'm just doing, getting some practice in with uh, my other YouTuber friend here, King Kuma. Hi. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I feel that is unfair on my part. <laughs> no, it's fine. I wasn't paying attention either. You know, there's a game that's all about making PC builds, and I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah. It's like a PC builder simulator or something? Yeah, I didn't know thermal paste was really important for computers. Oh, it's very important. Otherwise, rip CPU. I don't know too much about the technical aspects of computers, which is embarrassing, you know, when you're when you're a streamer, like you want to know about your hardware and all sorts of things. Nice. Mhm. Mm Oh, good response. Oh, pixel left. Ah, fuck, you went low. That was kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. People, people, <laughs> you went fucking the low, what the shit? People <laughs> don't expect, like, long-range sweeps. <laughs> Balls, I'm getting fucking Guilty Gear vibes again from that shit. You know what's real bad is I've been modding my stick for the past week, so I keep constantly have to relearn my muscle memory. And what? Have you ever thought of doing a stream about 
just talking about modding sticks and hardware and stuff like that i Some actually find that very fascinating i actually did one once so i was uh, planning on doing my own youtube series called femboys and fight sticks cool i actually got a <laughs> bunch of i got i got like six or seven fight sticks here and a bunch of parts that i was planning on showing off to people and like teaching people how oh, to fuck. put stuff together button <laughs> i've just been kind of on and off lately due to depression and other shit so i am kind of been lax on that but i want to get back into it as soon as i can hey steel happy femboy friday anyway uh gunter thank you for coming by today's stream hope you're having a fantastic femboy friday do you play street fighter 6 ow i've seen ow. The, i think i've seen them play dragon ball Mm -hmm. uh for fighters but not much and anything else but this is from out fuck the vfgc mm -hmm. nice oh god there's one thing i hate oh i i fucked SF6. it up six mm -hmm. the dry it's there's nothing wrong with drive crush but having it on a button is it, it is a trap for me <laughs> I don't have Drive Rush on a button, but I try to not use Drive Rush as much because I keep burning my Drive Gauge with nothing to show for it. The way, from what I've seen, the way Ken uses up his Drive Meter is just pure offensive pressure. Pretty much. Which is funny because um, Daigo decided to pick up Ken again as a callback to SF3, and he plays him just like he did in SF3. Very defensively, I should say. I feel like... I feel like with the mechanics of FF6, it uh, it benefits Ken a lot more than Ryu. Specifically because of drive rushing being a thing, and Ken wants to be, you know, in your face mm -hmm. as a character. Well, as Ryu, it's like he can play from any distance. So, you know. Mm -hmm. But... Uh... But in reality, the character that I should, like, learn is, like... If I have to learn an honest character, it's either Luke or Guile. You know? Because you can get far with those characters. Especially Luke, since he's pretty much, like, the new Shoto, I feel like. That character has no... Like, he doesn't have any, like, glaring weaknesses other than, like, a specific matchup where... Hey... Do you have fireballs? Your fireballs are way better than sandblast. But sandblast, that's about it. sandblast, sandblast. Because like if if Luke wants to fight in a projectile war, he's gonna have to use some drive meter just to contest, and that's not a that's not ideal for him exactly. Nice. Nice. Let me read back Learn in chat no, really quick. Uh, meter is a myth. Frame advantage is a mindset. <laughs> yeah, but I've been on PC building kicks since I'm planning on building my own soon. Oh, very nice. Vemboy and I know a thing or two about building PCs. Uh, what kind of parts are you looking at? Cosmo Bergamo is here. Welcome to the stream, Cosmo. How are you doing today? Learn no honest characters. Learn only gimmick characters. Yo, I'm going to like destroy my fighting gamer flag right now. But uh, what exactly... Do people mean by honest or dishonest characters anyway? Are they referring to are they referring to uh hitboxes or what? No, I think in terms of honesty, it's it's about a character that can that they don't have they don't have tricks, right? Oh. Like when you look at a Ryu player, you're like, okay, you know, you could you can picture what Ryu is going to do and what he wants to do, right? Yeah, the shadows. And then then you see a character like Vega, like Claw from SF2 and and five, it's like that's a that's a dishonest fucking character. I mean, that is kind of Vega's whole thing, right? Just being a fucking troll. Just ambiguous cross-ups and and uh, it's it's like you can still beat you can still beat and fight against those characters, but a lot of the times, a lot of the shit that they throw at you is very uh, ambiguous, you know. Medium kicked. Or like JP. JP can be considered to be a dishonest character. Not because <laughs> of his zoning, but the fact that he has... 
the fact that one of his moves allows him to teleport is kind of kind of fucked. I just don't like teleporting characters, especially after not especially after Aki and Idol Showdown. That was fucking ridiculous. Wait, what do you mean Kai is is uh, the only honest character? I think so, I think Giovanna is pretty honest as a character, but that's why people stop playing her. Is she May was honest? too honest? Uh, it's hard to say. <laughs> I think it's because she she abuses throw loops. It's some people <laughs> will say she's dishonest. I kind of figure people dishonest is just another term for I hate this character and wish they would die. You know, when I think of dishonest characters, I think of characters like uh, Phoenix from Marvel vs. Capcom three, not Ultimate, like the very first Marvel three. Like that shit was fucking whack. I didn't do anything from that interaction. Fuck. Me neither. I'm dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait. I forgot. That's not the super. That's basically your fucking dragon install. Ah! I was going to try to chip you out if you blocked. Yeah, I was kind of done there. Uh, I can send you a PC part picker link here if that's allowed. That's fine. I don't think we have link. We don't have links block here, I don't think. It's been a while since it's happened. Uh, it's like the difference between Mayor Ken and something, someone like Eno. Okay, you know when you put it that way, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, hold on. If May is considered to be dishonest because of dolphins, is E Honda dishonest in this game? I would say a lot of people hate E Honda right now, so yeah, I would count that. That's the ve <laughs> this E Honda is the best version of him <laughs> that he has ever been in any other fucking Street Fighter game. <laughs> well, what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. You don't like teleports? I'm switching to Kimberly mean. I actually don't mind Kimberly as much as some people. If anything, Jury is currently on my shit list. Which sounds bad since I don't think Jury is an unfair character per se. I just suck against Juries for some reason. Other than her reliance on charging her projectile, she's a, she's a threatening character. Uh, everyone besides Kai that I admit playing GG is dishonest. Uh, what about Asuka? That's the most honest shit I've ever seen. Or she Abba. doesn't want to play Guilty Gear and wants to play something else. Fuck. Or who... Abba, who I may add, deserves a place in a game. I wouldn't be surprised if Abba came up next, since... Um, for reasons. But before uh, Arxis adds any more characters, they really need to ensure that the net play is Chef's Kiss. Ow. Oh yeah, by the way, anytime you see a Jamie drinking, he's super... Most of the time, if you're close enough, it is punishable. I wonder if I can do... Wow, I did not... That's not what I wanted to do, but I will keep that in mind also. Uh, let's see what we got here. I don't know if there are any honest characters in Guilty Gear after Axe Core. <laughs> um, you don't like teleports? I'm switching to Kimberly. May has Dolphins. Dolphins are notorious liars. Uh, I think Dawson was pretty honest for having a fucking teleport. <laughs> that I play. I meant my side character is Sir Eno, Gold Lewis, Ram. I see. Uh, Gunter Dreiger just tried to post a link and it blocked for some reason. God damn it. Um, mods, if you can, go ahead and allow Gunter Dreiger's parts picker list link. If it's, It should show up in the mod queue, I think. I used to play Faust, who is patently ridiculous. Yeah, I can't get around Faust still. Charyu, get... punish. She's been gone for so long, though. Yeah, well, Bridget was too, and look what happened there. I'd call May dishonest, uh, honest to be honest. Her move list is too small to be dishonest. That's true. Seeing Bridget being released as the first DLC character for Season 2 was really wild, but... At first, I didn't care. Then I played her, and I'm like, yo, this character is sick.
Ow. Oh my god. I didn't expect <laughs> that to kill, but I'll take it. Tatsugeki! There's an audio drama where Johnny tries to teach Mei how to do Mist Finder with her anchor? That's insane. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so, so is Sugar Water. That shit is canon as fuck. Uh oh. If you, Ow, if you do EX Fireball, you should do that, like, when they're at the corner. Are you? Oh god. That's oh, that... not what I wanted. And now I'm at that... burnout. That's not what I wanted to do either. That works, though. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, got you. Okay, yo, if we're gonna- if we're gonna play, I'm gonna- we should go to, uh... Do you have a training mode in your custom room? Uh, what do you mean by that? Up, oh, we should, yeah. Let's go. Okay, good. Let's go there. Why do you ask? I mean, all what? the custom rooms have training mode by default. No, no, no. Go to the go to room four. Have you, oh, have you not tried that option yet? I didn't know that was a thing, actually. It's cool. What's this? Can... It's training mode. Okay, it's 1.15, you should go to sleep. All right, Cosmo, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great weekend if I don't see you. See you around, yo. <laughs> so this is the neat thing, because yeah. you could throw shit at me and I could do the same to you, and you could see the frame data for both players. And we could, like, it's kind of like theory, theory crafting, but, like, on the spot, you know? Oh, that's cool. Because, like, I want, cause I want to see what can... Can, I want to see his frame data, like, in person. Oh my god, uh, what? Here we go. Let's try it again. Yo, you're already at Platinum? Nice. Yeah, that's, uh... That's why I landed with Lily. I can't get anywhere else, though, with the other characters. Have a good night, Gunter. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for bringing your, or thanks for bringing your, uh... Your followers over. See you around, yo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a thing. Uh, if you go to screen display settings, there's the frame meter. Mm -hmm. And I guess. And then the cancel timing display. Uh, screen display. Oh, frame meter on. Uh, let's fuck it. Let's just turn oh, everything on except. But yeah, yeah, fuck it. Whoa, ho, 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 shit. It's good. This is good. So, like... Whoa. So, when it doesn't attack, right? So, uh, well, do do an attack at me. I'm looking at your screen. Yeah. Like a cancelable attack? Like jab or locate? Okay, there you go. So, n do you notice how when your character glows red or blue? So I did. So, if you... So, if you... <laughs> If you glow blue when you do an uh, an attack, mm -hmm. you can can't. That's a move that you can cancel. I you? But if it's red, uh. Oh wait, am I even reading that right? Hold on. I think you got it backwards because I'm. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Red is cancelable into special moves, and blue is cancelable into special moves or super arts. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense, because, look, I'm glowing red when I punch, and I glow blue when I shuriken. There we go. And see, look, I'm looking at your frame data. Yeah. And... Okay, so you're at an advantage of 33 frames after that attack. Which one? This and one? And when I do... What? This one? What? So, yeah, see, yeah. You're, you're at 33, and I'm at minus 33. Og. So when I do it to you, you can see my frame data. Mm -hmm. Do it, do so, it. So, so when I do something like this, right? It's mm -hmm. so. Look, oh, fuck! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you didn't. Okay, so let me show you something about yeah. Lily that a lot of people aren't. What the fuck? Uh, they're not ready for. So yeah. block. Mm -hmm. Just get ready to block, okay? Yep. Yeah. Blocked and into grab. Yeah. 
So when you're blocking this attack, mm -hmm. oh shit. Good response. <laughs> okay, just just block. All right, block. See, I'm at advantage by one frame. Yep. So she has the option of either going for jab or going for a throw. And you, what you should be doing is either get just either jump or you like mass jab. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. Og. Um. Yeah, the key thing about fighting against Lily is like don't don't ever give her the time to get get stocks because it makes Condor Spire and Condor Dive like mm -hmm. really safe. And the other thing too is here yeah, I'm gonna go to the corner. Just throw shit at me. Does doesn't matter. Ow. Oh wait. Never mind. The thing is, um, her her DP is not strike invincible. Ooh. So if you pr pressure a Lily in the corner, mm -hmm. right? Um, you could like EXDP her if she tries to do anything. Are you? Because she doesn't really have much. Uh, the only thing that she can really do is either do her supers, because those are the only moves that she has uh, for in invincibility. Now, now this is one of the reasons why I wanted to go to the training room with you. Yeah. Do you know what throw looping? Do you know how throw looping works? I don't even know what throw looping is, dude. <laughs> okay, so I want you to just mash jab as soon as I throw you. Okay. All right. Okay, that did that didn't work. <laughs> okay, hold on. Wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Let me, let me get a knockdown first. Okay, then you can match jab. Is this like how to punish noobs or something who just start panicking in the corner? Yep. Okay, that makes sense. So you can, so there's like, every character can do this except for like Chun-Li and like another character. So the only way to get out of that is to, is to obviously tech the throw, right? Yeah. But you could, but... Once you've conditioned them to start teching the throw, you can you can punish them heavily for it. Hog. But most of the time it's like throw, then uh, parry rush into throw. That's kind of disgusting. So like you, you could try it out and see if you could get the uh, the the flow for it. Wait. So. See. Oh, so when you push that button, I was mashing jab. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. Oh, wait. All right, you got the throw. So, wait, so throw, and then what do you. you... For most characters, after the throw, you drive rush. You can drive rush uh... after a throw? I don't know. I don't know how it works specifically, but this is how throw looping in the corner works. Oh, I thought in order to drive rush, you need to cancel out from a punch. I didn't know you could you, like. Oh no, you could hold you. So you could hold parry, and then tap. Oh shit! That's I forgot you could do that. <laughs> so I never used like it. One, so one thing that's really cool about Lily. So this is this is a gimmick that I've done, and it works mm -hmm. at low level. I see a lot of people do that to me, actually, where they drive rush and then into grab. It's yeah, fucking it's, annoying, dude. It's fast. <laughs> it is fast. But, like, you can do a lot of wild stuff. It, and it's just... That's what makes the command grab character scary in this game. Mm -hmm. Because yep. um, you could just go into parry, into thing. Yeah, a fucking then, Zangief did that to me, in fact. The other thing, too, is that because you're drive rushing... You cannot jump, right? So yeah. it makes doing the 360 input a lot easier. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> I wonder if they purposely went for the Devil May Cry vibe with that color scheme. That's what I was wondering too. I, it's either that or I got God Rule vibes from it personally. That's fucking disgusting. That's 
that's just that's just rage inducing if you don't know Which what's one? happening the uh, whole drive rush into grab into just fucking don't let them breathe <laughs> because I think especially the only thing to do i don't actually i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah. jab to see if that works if you drive rush try to throw me yeah yeah uh... so that's really the only thing if you anticipate it it's just to but punch what them out. I do, I do this. Well, that's because, uh, oh fuck. Out. That's the other thing too. It's another way to, to get in with a poke. I don't know what Ken's pokes are. That his, seems to be one. His pokes are mostly uh, medium kick and heavy punch. That's why, so that, like, I did I guess this. You can, Drive rush into like crouching that. medium. I feel like if you do it too far away, it becomes very reactable because there's like all that time. Oh yeah, like like anything from long distance. So you basically have to like, like right there, like that. Unless they know you're going to do it, and then they just block. Did you see how stupid that fireball was? Yeah. Like, you were plus. So if I tried to do anything, I would have died from that level three. <laughs> uh, I don't I don't know what Ken's target combos are like. Uh, Fairly simple. I use it a lot. It's mostly this one. So, and also this one. So I've learned something about target combos. Mm-hmm. You don't always have to complete the the target combo. Yeah. In fact, I found that target combos are actually kind of... Are not only punishable, they're kind of predictable if you do them too much. It's like... Because you know when they're going to end, more or less. Yeah, like, this, like Lily has this one. Yeah. So it's three times. Oh, shit. Is that a low? Oh, no, it is no, a low. It's just... huh. Yeah, so that's super punishable, but if you block... Oh, my God. Oh, good response. Good response. <laughs> ow. Ow. Um, if I do it once or twice... So if I do it once and you block it, mm -hmm. I'm plus. If you block it twice, we're, we're even. If you block it three times, I'm negative. Mm -hmm. Ow. 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 Shit. Ow. 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 Oh, I can see what buttons you're pressing, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said those two on, so. <laughs> Ow. Oh, nice. Oh, it wasn't, it was not fast enough. I can actually combo into Condor Spire into the corner. Damn. Still not I, fast enough. Fuck. I take oh, back. No, it's hmm? EX. Has to be EX. I take back what I say uh, said about Lily just being a, a 2D version of Talon. She's clearly unique in her own ways. The resemble I mean, the resemblance she, is just I, um you know uncanny. I mean she is kind of like Talon. I mean she's a uh, weapons all about the wind. The wind priestess. Uh, yeah, that's true. You know, Talon's design is based off of, like, the, the Philippines, right? Yeah, that's part of the reason why I like playing her, but she's the Filipino character, more or less. Um, I mean, aside from other reasons, but that's one of those reasons. Well, there's one thing I've learned from perfect parries in this game. Mm -hmm. Unless you know you're going to kill them, do, it's better to not waste your super on from a perfect parry. That's true. Um, oh, I should have parried. I don't know why I was trying to go for a counter oh, there. Wait, wait. Can you do your level three? I want to check something. Uh, sure. Okay, that's that's. One second. Let me rearrange my fingers here. There we no go. No worries. Okay, I wanted to see if that was a thing. Do it again. 
Yeah! <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so it's just like drive-in pack. It's a uh, second person to activate wins. It looks uh, like. The other thing too, well, the other thing is, is that Lily is invincible during the startup of this. Oh, okay. Because, uh, uh, oh, I don't, I don't remember the colors. I think, I think purple is invincible startup. Hmm. Oh, uh, there's another thing I should tell you. What's up? All right. Okay. When you see that, hold jump. Hold jump? Hold, just jump. Why? So, let me, let me, let me do it again. Okay. All right. Jump as soon as the cinematic starts. Oh, fuck. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. shit. I see. Uh, maybe it's because... There you go. See? Okay. So I have to jump backwards to... Uh, wait, no. I think... Why is okay, it hit so sometimes when not others? To my understanding, Manon and Lily's level 3 uh, command grab supers, you can jump on reaction to the moment that it starts up. Og? But you cannot do that with Zangief. <laughs> if you're on the ground when Geef gets it off, you're lo you're locked in. Pog. What the? Le they better not be lying about this shit. Let me t let me double check. <laughs> Cause I I don't want to I don't want to be like Arnold. Arnold how? Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you know what that <laughs> man did? What did he do? The bodybuilding competitions. Uh, what did he do? He gave. He purposely gave people bad advice. Did he? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of <laughs> shitty. I'm not gonna lie. It's so funny though. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Uh, Super combo GG does not. There's no descriptions for. Lily. I think it's because a lot of people are just. No one's touching her. <laughs> but I mean in the same way like if you had to choose between Zangief and T-Hawk mm -hmm. a lot of people just choose Zangief right mm -hmm. there weren't that many T-Hawk players back in the day and T-Hawk in Street Fighter 2 Turbo was was not good <laughs> <laughs> okay let, let me see what it says here about Ken Yeah, Ken is good anti airs. Apparently, he's good at draining people's drive gauge. I think I'll have to re rely on uppercuts as my anti air because I keep fucking up trying to show you can people out of the air. I mean that that also that always that also works. Whatever's more reliable in my case, really. Ow. Oh, yeah, so that. Uh, Ow. Sorry. Lily can only do that on a neutral or forward jump. So if you just see a Lily hopping around, you should you should either block it or or be ready to anti air it. Wow, that's a nice poke. Ow. Whoa, ow. Ow. Okay. Do you want to play some uh, real games, or do you want to... What, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm up for anything right now. I just need to okay. warm up to get the nerves okay, out. Let's, let's, uh, let's play some real, let's real play games. Some, let's, let's fight some streets. Virgin made a recent appearance in Can before Strive. They appear in the Guilty Gear Pachinko Machine. Yeah, sure. <laughs> anytime somebody mentions anything about a Pachinko Machine, it doesn't count, okay? <laughs> Say, hey, did you know there's a really sick Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater Pachinko Machine out there? Snake Eater? HD cutscenes? 
Or like the last Silent Hill game that was released was a fucking pachinko machine. <laughs> yeah, that's not that doesn't feel good for anybody who likes those things. Shit. Nice. Oh, that did not go as planned. Oh, shit. <sighs> the one drive rush combo I know. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It works. Yeah, it works. Also, Luke's crouching medium punch is like legit bullshit in this game. <laughs> <laughs> kind of reminds me of Soul Bad Guy a bit. Okay, like, on, on hit, it's plus three, and on block, it's plus one. So it's still his turn when he uses it. Ow. Oh fuck. Uh what a waste. Oh shit. Nice. You know it's one thing I was not been able to do yet is wake up DP. Oh, I'm amazed that I actually blocked that. <laughs> Bruh. Tricked me up there. I thought that you were going a, for a low again. Yeah, that's an overhead. Yeah. The fuck? Yeah, so if you know if you know what your character's overhead is, it's a good That's like a good driver rush option. Like, oh, you hopped over my low. <laughs> yeah. I'm terrible at Dragon Lash, but Dragon Lash is fucking sick for just catching people with an overhead from from hell. There we go. Mm -hmm. I have this weird thing where I can do Shoryukens just fine, but I can't do Dragon Lash as well. Because it's the same movement, just with kick buttons instead of punch buttons. Oh, you you saw that one coming. Oh, oh, ooh. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Ow. 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 Very nice. Man, he's so. Hey, you know what? I don't know if I said it last time. Like, I didn't like Luke at first. Because <laughs> he's kind of cringe. <laughs> he's kind of. He is. I feel he is cringe, but I feel like that's by design. Like, he's supposed to be corny. He kind of gives me the impression... He kind of feels like a old-school shonen, shonen protagonist big mentor guy. Which... Or big mentor person. That's there like... There are parts of him that are, like, relatable. Other than being in a PMC. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or, like, being in the military. But, I mean, he's, he has a background where... It, it makes sense to why he would be... Mm -hmm. Like, he's capable of brawling, you know? Nice. <laughs> nice with funny. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That was close, actually.
Nice. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh shit, I missed. Missed, missed. I'm trash. I was trying to like chip you out as much as I could. Oh, nice parry. Oh, oh and there we go. <laughs> yeah, punish throw. Punish throw. Every time I miss with the show, you can, I'm just like, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I think that's why most of the time they go for the crouching heavy punch or just the light shore you. Mm hmm. Because it's not as unsafe. Mm hmm. And to my understanding, like, sure you do P is for like the heavy hard punish or, um, uh, or like, or like combo ender. Oh, you knew. No, I didn't. I just auto turned around. <laughs> Did that? Io, nice wall splat. Damn. Too bad I missed the DP. <sighs> oh shit. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't catch you. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, I miss. Nice parry. Oh, I forgot. I don't have parry and overdrive mode. Oh, fuck. I don't... I think if you blocked it, I think you would have been okay. I was blocking it. I think that was an overhead, though. Or something. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck happened. Man, people are saying that the music in this game is not as good. Yeah. I won't lie to you, I can't recall any of the music from Street Fighter V. <laughs> I mean, the music in this game is certainly not memorable, but it's not offensive. If anything, I like—I prefer listening to the announcer. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean off offensive? <laughs> as in bad. It's not bad, but it's also not oh, memorable. okay. Because if you remember Street Fighter's whole uh, whole legacy was a bunch of stereotypes fighting it out around the world. I mean, it's <laughs> aren't we? Don't we still have some stereotypes here in Street Fighter Six? The problem yeah, with trying to I make. Mean, I mean, they're not as bad as what they could have been. Uh, that's true. Like, I don't know if you've seen pictures of what Blanca could have been. I have not. Please, it would, it would have been really bad. <laughs> it's uh it, instead of a green skin person we it is a dark complexioned man oh man yes yeah, <laughs> that's pretty bad so basically blanco was about to be an indigenous brazilian and they were like oh maybe that's not a good idea i don't know if he was brazilian he could have come from another region maybe another another continent <laughs> but it never became a thing, and thank God, because that's that would have been really bad. <laughs> also, in the same way that Zangief would have been called uh, Vodka Gorbalski. <laughs> <laughs> Capcom, yo, Capcom's not the only gaming company that was gonna have a racist Russian name. <laughs> Are you familiar with a game called Punch Out from Nintendo? I am. Do you remember Soda Popinski? No, I actually don't because I sucked at punch out, so I never got that far. There's a Russian there's a Russian guy whose gimmick is that he's constantly drinking soda Bruh. in between rounds. So his name was Soda Popinski. Well that wasn't his name in the original arcade game. It was Vodka Drakinsky. 
That's just terrible, though. That's just, yeah, that's I that's know. actually that's actually bad. <laughs> it can't be as bad as the Italian man pizza pasta that you fight right oh before my. vodka Drakinsky. You you think that you think this might be an excuse to be racist on stream? But this is real shit that happened. Okay. Yeah, I believe you. The eighties were certainly a time. So that's why when you said the music was offensive. Yeah, I did. Like, I, I did. I really like the direction where they went with uh, the music in this game. Mm -hmm. Because depending on who the character was, they would use instruments from their home country uh, yeah. for their music. The, uh, the uh, local music is in fact local. I don't know, it just feels good. Mm -hmm. Despite them going with the the theme of hip hop in in the streets, I don't know why people think that the hip hop stuff is like new. Because even Street Fighter Three was like that. And they said that this ruined Street Fighter Six. They're fucking stupid. I mean, and they don't understand what it was. They they were they were never around for the arcades. Okay, because yeah. honestly, arcade games was poverty gaming. Mm -hmm. You went to the arcades because you couldn't afford the video games, the video game consoles at home. Right. And if, especially if you look at the history of like um, SNK and how it was the the champion, the champion company for like Latin America and Mexico. Mm hmm. Right. Because like with the CPS Capcom board, right, you yeah. have to buy a new complete new machine every time you wanted a new game. But as the Neo Geo, because that they had a machine where you could put cartridges in to change the game for the cabinets, mm -hmm. right? It was it was more affordable in countries that didn't have much money, right? So Yeah. I don't know, I, and I find that personally fascinating. It makes a lot of sense, honestly. Vimboy says Sandboy moves forward with every ability. I never noticed that, actually. Oh, he's talking about Luke? Yeah. Or oh, sorry, they're talking about Luke? I actually... Mm -hmm. I, I don't know your pronouns, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Al? I think I got I'm greedy. Walking. Yeah, uh, yeah walking. I got greedy. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> Nice. Luke, Luke has a lot of tools that get some uh, moving. Mm -hmm. especially, especially this one. I've never even seen that move before. What the fuck? I don't think people... I think people use it for like very flashy like bullshit combos. That's legit. You're legit the first person I've seen even use that thing. I was just showing off, but it's probably not a good move. Now. Drive uh -oh. rush is certainly, certainly a uh, risk, isn't it? Good, re good response. Thanks. I was expecting <laughs> you to go for a throw loop because I taught you that. Nah, I kind of got addicted to the whole. Once I figured out how drive impact works, I started getting addicted to the whole bully someone into a corner and just drive impact them. But well, you know what? That's that's perfectly valid. It's a good strat. I kind of assumed that was what the game wants you to do anytime someone gets pushed to the corner. But if you do it too much, people, smart people will get smart to it, and it's easy to punish punish back. So it's like... I just... Oh, shit. I just don't use Drive Crush because once I start pushing it, I tend to mash it a lot. Same. I feel like it's, as I said, it's like a trap. It's, it's one of those things that you think you're supposed to use a lot of, but you're actually supposed to be careful with. It's the impression I got. Oh shit! You punched me out of uh, OD. Nice. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, 
Oh shit. Base target combo saved me. Whew. Oh my god, there's 10 minutes left. <laughs> yeah. Thanks I for the dinner and I didn't even eat yet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the warm ups. Yeah, no worries, I hope that helps. <laughs> oh, it did. It did. For sure. Let me see who I'm up against first. Uh, if they're assuming they're done with the. They gotta be because side check and close at 45 to the hour. To 15 to the hour. I'm up against someone named Namian. Never played this guy in before. Or girl. Whatever their. Whatchamacallits are. Let's see. Where am I? Namian. Muffin! I gotta fight muffins! Muffins? Oh. Good luck, have fun. Well, I don't I don't know if they're like, I don't know how much SF they play, so I like, could go either way. That's true. Where are you? Uh, I'm near the top. I'm at the top, in fact. Oh, uh, there we go. I don't know a lot of these people. Maxwell is okay, playing we're, again. We're being told to go to North American 70. Hell yeah! I can't believe we're doing it. We're taking over. Uh, we're taking over a battle hub again. <laughs> I can't, I like the idea of going to a battle hub. And you just see all these VTubers doing competitions and shit. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like. Well, I think you said it last time. It's like going to a local. Yeah, it feels like going to a local. And everyone's dressed up with their v with their avatars looking similar to the VTubers and stuff. I thought it was I thought it was kinda cool. It was a very unique experience. Except my handle in game is not my VTuber handle, so it's also like who's Sidewinder Sam? Oh, it's Cena. <laughs> Alright, Laws, I'll see you around, pal. Yep. Thanks for the game. See you around. No worries, and good luck. Have fun, yo. Same to you. <laughs> I better use the restroom really quick, chat. I'll be right back. Uh, that's not what I wanted to push. That's not what I wanted to push. There we go. Ah, that's not what I wanted to push either. This game is acting without my consent. We'll be right back.
And we're back. Got two minutes before the tournament fighting actually starts. Double elimination. Let's see how long we can last this time. Oh shit, here we go. Why did they just DC, like, literally just now? Shit. Let's restart, uh, Street Fighter, I guess. I hope we can fix this in time. Literally right as the turn was about to start. Street Fighter 6. 
Oh, thank God. All right. Get in there. Let's see now. Let's check the challenge here. Looks like I'm still up against Namian.
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like we're already starting. Or are we? Oh boy, I'm manning. Here we go, first of two. Here comes a new challenger. Oh, uh, she got me. God damn it. Hog. Nice grab. Got you. Fuck. First win. First win. Nice drive impact. Uh, 
Oh shit. Yeah, I punished. Nice overhead. Oh, shit. Yeah, she they got alone. It's one one now. Ah, uh, she got that one. She got that one. Uh, Nimian. wasn't that bad. I got really greedy a couple times and should have uh, guessed a few of their moves. So I'm not that disappointed.
My nerves are still kind of raw, but I feel a little bit better about this ma about these matches. That was certainly that was actually a fairly balanced match, all things considered. Just hope the servers don't crap out on us. Do they have anything new in the uh, shop yet? Guess that's gonna be a no, hard no, unfortunately. Kind of disappointing. Ooh, a jury player. That's fucking annoying.
Ah, uh, GG. Not really, but nothing to say about that. Jesus fucking Christ, Jury is annoying as shit. I need to learn how to play against Jury. This is gonna this is basically Jury is to me is to me what basically Happy Chaos was to me in Guilty Gear now. Fuck it. Like super fucking annoying. Uh I know Jury's been around for a while too. I just have never I haven't really fought against Juries before. In any game for that matter. Win three battle hub matches from Cabin and not four in the next six hours. I don't feel like doing that right now. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream here. We need to go grab dinner since we're kind of alone in the house today. Thanks everyone for stopping by. We're going to go find someone to raid this evening. Oh, Junie is playing Street Fighter 6 today too, but they didn't join this uh, tournament. A lot of people playing Street Fighter 6 today, actually. I haven't seen Iron Man Wookiee in a while either. Let's go raid Maxwell since it's been a while since he's since he's joined a tournament. I don't know what we should use for a raid message. How about this one? But happy Friday, everyone. Have a good one.